In April 2004, nine volunteers were asked to help renovate a house that had been badly damaged by the youth in Clays three years earlier. The volunteers consisted of five ethnic minority and four Clays residents. We all came into the house, some with and some without skills. We worked on the house one day a week for eight months. There was a lot of damage so we all got stuck in. Over the weeks we got to know each other and our backgrounds as well as our religions and we became a big family. It was really sad and heartbreaking to see the problems some of the boys had and why they had to flee their countries to save themselves and their families from danger. I do know one of the boys even left his own pop business behind to save his family. There was a time when three of the boys were celebrating Ramadan and I felt so guilty sneaking to have my sandwich crisps and chocolate without them. It was funny on times when I would get on their nerves and they would swear at me in their language and little did they know I knew what they were saying as I would ask the boys working in the local shop what they meant. After the house was done we had an open day in April 2005 and it was fabulous. All the community and agencies were invited. The boys and I won an award for the project from Adult Learning Week and we were all really chuffed. The house has now been handed over to the community by Gwalior Housing. We have a committee of five committed volunteers and run a few courses and clubs such as Stitch and Bitch Sewing Class, Breakfast Club, Tutti Fruity, Food Co-op and Healthy Eating Group for Toddlers. We celebrated our first birthday in April where we had a barbecue, Easter egg hunt and bonnet parade. And the day went well, all the community got involved. I really do hope deep down that the house will run for many years as the project to me is my baby as I've been here from the start.